Have you ever wondered how to get rid of the background from your outline of your figure or your, your portrait so that you can take that picture and place it onto something else? We call that a transparent background where you can just place other things there. Well, you're going to learn how to do that today in this video. My name is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to turn your passion into profit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can get videos every Tuesday and learn how to do that. All right, let's jump in. The first thing we're going to do is go to Canva Pro. That is an account that you can have access to for free as a Canva membership, but I'm using the Pro account. And if you want to check out the Pro account and see what it does, I highly recommend that you try it for 30 days for free. I put this off for a really long time and I regret doing that because it has so many features. This is one of them. If you don't, if you choose not to use Canva Pro, maybe you don't need all those other features and you still want to know how to do the Back, remove a background I have a second way to show you so stick around watch both ways and choose which one works best for you all right first thing we're gonna do is go to Canva Pro we're gonna create a design up here and I'm gonna go ahead and create thumbnail because being a youtuber this is the most the most frequent way that I use this feature now what I did is I went ahead and took a picture of myself on my iPhone and then I transmitted it to my laptop and now i'm going to bring it up it has a background and you'll see the tree back here is in the picture i'm going to hit the upload button on the left i have the picture on my pc all right so you're going to upload it and then just stretch it out so that it fits the space now again i, I just took a quick picture with my phone um, typically, I might want something a little smaller, a little bit more of me showing, but this will work. All right, so what we're going to do is go under, we're going to click the picture, and then all of these different features show up here at the top. You can go over here to Effects, and then you're just going to select Background Remover. Now, there's going to be a couple steps. So now you see here, I have no background, but if I were to take this and try to use it and add a background to it, the white is showing it's not transparent it actually has a white background and what we want to do is get a transparent background so we're going to download it there is a couple of steps this way but we're going to download it and then right here we're going to click transparent background we want to be able to place something else there and i'm going to show you why that doesn't work while we're waiting for that to load so let's say i wanted to go over here to elements and let's say I wanted to add a background, something different. Uh, let's say something with a room. I'm just going to type in the word room. Different rooms will come up. Here's living room. And all of these templates are here in Canva Pro. Very easy for you to access. You can use things with graphics or different pictures that actually look real. So let's scroll down and I'm just going to choose this one here. Now watch what happens. I'm going to choose it. And as you can see, even if I put this background, if I can position it to the back. Okay. At the same time, I'm over here saving. I can position this and tell it to go to the back. Well, I don't have that choice. So as you can see, it just comes in and goes right on top of my other picture. Okay. So what we're going to do is go back to uploads and we're going to bring in the picture that we made with a transparent background. And here it is. And see now my picture is on top of that. I'm going to blur out the back a little bit. That's probably, that's all right. We'll leave it there. This isn't about making a thumbnail as much as getting the picture, right? But there you see, I can put my picture on top of this or anything else that I want, and I can have that transparent background. I can even go into backgrounds and just put a different color back there. It doesn't have to be the um, room or anything. It can be something with different colors, if that makes sense. Let's go with, there you go, I made it green. All right, so that's how you get rid of your background. And you can play around in here and put all kinds of different backgrounds in there. Now, what if you don't want to use 
Canva Pro. Uh, maybe you've been using it, the free program, and you're like, I don't, I don't really like Canva. Maybe you don't. And maybe there's just a couple of times that you need that background. So here's a second way that you can do it. You can go to remove image background. It's called remove.bg. You can see that up there. And we're gonna upload the image. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same one. You don't have to log in or sign up or anything like that. You just go in and use the tool. All right, once it's uploaded, you're gonna hit download. And there you go. And there you go. So now you know how to remove the background. You can use that on anything. You can just put um, copy and paste it and put it on top of anything. You can put it in Word documents, Facebook, anywhere. But that's how you do it, two different ways. I hope you um, learned something new today. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.